Hey guys, Guns Essential. Want to do a quick knife review for you guys. Um, I just got this thing in the mail the other day and uh, wanted to show it off. This is the Halibus Bush Tools Butcher Knife. It is sold exclusively through the Pathfinder store. As you can see, their, their logo there. Give you guys some uh, quick specs on this thing. Um, the steel is 1095, high carbon. The handle material is a hardwood. Um, the overall length is 11 inches. The uh, cutting surface is 6 inches. And the blade thickness is one eighth of an inch. Um, the handle material, like I said, it is a hardwood. Um, it does have a looks like a torch treatment done to it. It's held on by six brass pins. Um, which for this style of knife, I I really dig, man. It's a uh, main reason I got this knife is because. I am into the old uh, mountain men stuff, and they were pretty fam pretty uh, famous for carrying butcher knives out in frontier days. And this is an upgrade to something like an old hickory butcher knife or something like that, you know, which which it should be an upgrade really because it sells for $149 compared to uh, I don't know 10 to 15 dollars for an old hickory. The handle isn't really finished out like a lot of your knives are, which is pretty cool in my eyes. You know, it gives it more of a rustic look. Um, the fit of the handle is really good, as you can see there. The blade does have a few imperfections in it, um, like uh, right there. You know, it does have a little bit of a roughness to it in places, which really, again, for this style of knife, isn't really that big of a deal. I don't know really what their uh, their finish is on their other knives, but but for this style of knife, it kind of it fits it real well. Um, one thing that I was kind of disappointed with was the the edge. You know, it's you cannot shave hair off your arm with this thing, for sure. Um, I seen on their website where they're supposed to be using the uh, Wicked Edge sharpening system, and that's just supposed to be a super good system. And, and you know, maybe it is. I guess they just didn't really take the time to uh, to put a hair popping edge on this knife. And maybe it's just this particular one. I don't know. I mean, it's... Who knows? The sheath that it comes with... It's just a standard leather sheath. has no snaps or anything. It's just like a... Uh, the friction holds it in there. You know, it's like a bushcrafter type sheath. But as you can see, you don't really have to worry about it going anywhere. And one thing that I do kind of worry about is cutting through the sheath over time. Now let me get this thing out of here again. You guys see down in there. You know, it's like if I use the light on my camera, it has so much glare that the camera doesn't want to focus, and then when I don't have it on, you can't see anything. I don't know if you guys can see down in there or not, but there's no liner in it. But as you can see, it is pretty thick leather, so... Uh, it ought to hold up pretty good as long as you're careful putting it back in the sheath. You know, if you hand it to your buddy and he goes to put the knife back in backwards, which has happened to me more than once, it will stab right through it, I'm sure. The purpose for me buying this knife is, like I said, um, 
I'm in the mountain man thing, you know, um, but it's going to be used for for camping and I'm going to do more bushcraft videos and uh, I'll probably even use this thing in the kitchen at home, you know, with the, the curve on the blade. It ought to be a great chopper for vegetables and, and meats and stuff. And this winter I plan on cleaning a deer with this thing or, you know, whatever else, coon, possum. Whatever, I'm not too particular. I'll eat pretty much anything. This thing feels good in the hand. The grip is kind of, I guess, on the thinner side, but it still, to me, it feels good in the hand. The weight of this thing is 0.8 pounds, for those of you guys that are interested. Um, I just got this basically for a lighter weight option for an axe. Um, I'm a big axe guy, so I don't really see this thing replacing an axe. You know, I'm not going to go all nut and fancy on you guys and, and say that this thing chops wood better than an axe because I just don't see it happening. But I uh, just want to do a quick tabletop review for you guys. And uh, look forward to seeing this thing out in the woods a lot in videos. I'm going to do a lot more outdoor cooking videos and more bushcrafting type videos so uh this is a tabletop review halibus bush tools butcher knife let me know what you guys think thanks a lot see ya